<laughs> I'd like you guys to take a look at this clip. Look at it. You're not prepared. I'm not prepared. This is the first time. You want to cook crystal meth? That's right. You know the business. And I know the chemistry. This is not pure glass. You're goddamn artist. Your eyes are something special. You have to like to be a small and silent party. Now, we've all watched TV shows at some point in time. The problem is most of them are just not that good. However, I promise you after the speech, you will be inspired and persuaded to watch Breaking Bad if you already have not. If you have seen it, watch it again from start to finish. Breaking Bad is a masterpiece that must be relished. Hi, my name's Tom Anders, and I'm an avid TV movie buff. I've taken several classes in cinema and I've excelled in each one of them. I have a solid reputation for recommending excellent material. Although I'm not a professional critic, I will be able to cite those who are. Now Breaking Bad is just based on its Emmy Awards is one of the, if not the best TV show ever produced. What separates Breaking Bad are awards, acting, premise, character development, and <clears throat> Plot development. The episode that aired last Sunday, The Night Breaking Bad won the best Emmy. It had 6.6 .6 million viewers, breaking the record for the series that was set the week before. This is quoted by Jurgensen. Breaking Bad is a 10 time Emmy Award winning series. Brian Cranston is a three time Emmy Award winner in consecutive terms. His portrayal of Walter White is by far his best work that he's ever done. You guys might know him as Malcolm in the Middle from his uh, previous sitcom. Aaron Paul just won Best Supporting Actor. He plays Jesse Pinkman in Breaking Bad. And he is Walter White's accomplice in the meth business. Or his partner, I should say. Anna Gunn Emmy uh, won the award for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Drama. She plays Skylar White, who is Walter White's wife. Now I'd like to go into the premise of the show. It starts in Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is an ordinary place. Now the thing that Breaking Bad does very well that separates it from other shows is it's very believable. It starts off in a suburban area of a house. Um, the high school teacher, just a normal family, nothing out of the ordinary. And the cinematography is amazing. Sometimes, as we all live in Arizona, it's very beautiful just sometimes to look at the mountains and things, and the cinematography in the show is phenomenal. As I said, Walter White plays a chemistry high school teacher who's diagnosed with terminal lung cancer. This is initially where the first episode starts off with, and it begins on this epic journey. Walter White has a wife, son, and a new baby on the way. Now, Walter and Skyler are expecting a baby both are in their 40s and they want to set up the family, well, Walter wants to set up his family with money. His main reason is money, security, and because he has terminal cancer and he doesn't know how long he's going to have. So as I stated before, Walter White is a high school chemistry teacher who is diagnosed with cancer. Now, Cranston stated that one reason he took this role was because the character of Walter White, science teacher turned a meth dealer, changes throughout the series. And this is a quote by Lafayette. So this all gets brought to him. He begins contemplating the idea of cooking meth when his brother-in-law comes over for his 50th birthday and shows himself on TV doing a drug bust. 
the main thing about Walter White and as Brian Cranston plays him is the transformation of his character. Unlike any other, you see the development from beginning to end. So Brian Cranston plays Walter White, Anna Gunn plays Skylar White, Aaron Paul plays Jesse Pinkman, and Dean Norris plays Hank Schrader. And just touching on the character development, we see Anna Gunn, her transformation as Walter's wife, we see the transformation of Walter White, and we also see the transformation of Jesse Pinkman. I don't want to give too much of this show away just because I don't know who has seen it and who hasn't, but I promise you, there is no show that comes close to the developing characters, the plot development, and the character development as Breaking Bad. Also has some of the best villains that I've ever seen as well. Uh, we've got guys like OG gangsters from Mexican cartel like Tuco. We have a Chilean drug lord uh, named Gus. We have his right-hand man, his Mike, who's his uh, enforcer. And of course, we have the whole Mexican cartel. And I'm not going to give too much away, but I can promise you that these villains in these shows separate and are way better than any other show you've ever seen. Lost doesn't even come close. You'll get lost in this show. <laughs> now, the plot development. Now, this is a slow burn. You're not just going to initially go into the show with guns blazing, people dying, and everything. Okay? It's very, very plot-oriented. It's a slow burn, but it connects everything. It's so intense. It keeps you on the edge of your seat. You're never not knowing what's going to happen. So just give it an opportunity. Get two, three episodes into the season, and I promise you'll be drawn in. It always keeps you on the edge. You're never going to anticipate what's going to happen. And the ability for the screenwriters to connect all the, the things together, it just makes sense. Most shows just don't make sense. You're asking, well, how did that happen? You know, it, that doesn't make sense. That wouldn't happen in real life. There's nothing in Breaking Bad that will make you question the realism and authenticity of this show. So Breaking Bad is one of, if not, the best TV shows ever produced. It's a multi-year award winner, has engrossing characters, and a plot that makes you tune in for more. At this time, I'd like to take any questions from the audience. Anyone have a question? Yeah, Lee, what, can I, what question do you have? Um, I was just wondering, is Malcolm in the Middle, by any chance, the prequel to Breaking Bad? No. Malcolm in the Middle is, has nothing to do with Breaking Bad. Malcolm in the Middle is more a comedy slash sitcom. This is more a uh, suspense, drama-filled uh, TV show. I, I, and I would say Brian Cranston, is, although he's talented in Malcolm in the Middle, he's way up here as opposed to down here. Is in his level of acting. So, my question is, what do you think the effect of this kind of uh, entertainment has on young people? I think with Vince Gillian, who's actually the screenwriter and producer of this, so Breaking Bad, it's connect. His favorite, he said in an interview, his favorite TV show growing up was Twilight Zone. He loved the director. And it outlived him. That's one thing about this show. It outlived his life. And that's what Vince Gillian wanted to create. He wanted to have a show that would outlive him. Something that would be remembered by. A lot of these shows now, they go on season 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This only had 5 seasons. So it wasn't extended. But it gives our generation something to identify with, to relate with. Like a classic movie like Godfather. Or Jaws. You can remember where you were. And it's something that sticks with you. And I think that this is something our generation can take with us um, and tell you know, our kids or, or our older people about and get them to, uh, to acknowledge and, and take a look at things that our generation really is passionate about. But don't you think that glamour, glamorization of violence and drug dealing and all of this is in a way negative in terms of young people's perception of reality? Um, you know, if you look at the news, most of it is just violence anyway, so I would say probably not. If it's done tastefully, which I think Breaking Bad does a lot from other things who are just nonstop, if there's substance behind a point, it's relevant. If there's just drug dealing, action, killing, murder, and it has no substance behind it, it really doesn't hold any validity. Does that answer your question? Yeah. 
So you're saying that art that uh, resembles reality, even though it may be violent in its content, is still art? Yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed my presentation, and I hope you understand why I and so many other critics rate this show so high. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Tell all your friends about it. Thank you very much for your time.